Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I'm so excited to share with you everything that I picked up for the week, what I'm doing for dinners, and the three really good recipes you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Get that information so you know where you should fall every day to reach your goals. And I offer accountability and one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump in to this week's grocery haul. Before we jump into this week's grocery haul, I wanna thank Go Cash Back for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've actually been using Go Cash Back for quite a while. I really wanted to test the program out, see if it's really worth downloading the app on your phone or on your PC. And let me just tell you how amazing Go Cash Back is. You can shop your favorite stores and get money back. And right now they're offering a registration bonus of $8 cash back to you when you sign up using the link in the description box. I will put all of the information about Go Cash Back down in the description box with the link that you need to sign up to get the $8 and start earning cash back from your favorite stores. Go Cash Back has great offers and limited time higher cash back opportunities. You can use your cash back in conjunction with merchant discount codes for ultimate savings. Some advantages of Go Cash Back compared to other cash back sites are you have more withdrawal options. You can actually get your cash back by mail, direct deposit, PayPal transfer, and special gift cards with extra bonus payouts. It has higher cash back rates for popular merchants. All you have to do is download Go Cash Back's Google extension to never miss earning cash back when you shop online. This extension automatically activates cash back earnings for you when you don't even realize it. There's monthly giveaways and events for users, including skincare products and luxury products like Alexander Wang's handbags. They're also offering offline cash back for new users if you decide to download the Go Cash Back app. 100% cash back for Starbucks, Whole Foods, and more. And again, you can use any of the cashback discounts with any other merchant discounts that are currently being offered on the cashback site. I downloaded both the app and the extension for my laptop because honestly, I shop from my phone and I shop from my computer. You can actually earn up to 40% cashback on some of your favorite stores. You guys know that I love my makeup. Both Ulta and Sephora are on the Go Cashback website so you can get money back from shopping your favorite stores. There are so many different opportunities for you to earn money back from the Go Cash Back website. Beauty, home, kids, apparel, you name it, there are thousands upon thousands of stores available for you to get money back. It's very simple to start earning cash back. You really can't beat it. You get to shop at your favorite stores, take advantage of whatever deals or discounts those stores are offering, plus earn extra money cash back in any form that you choose to receive your cash back in. I always like to save it all up and then use it towards a bigger purchase. There's so many great name brand stores on the website. Everything from Macy's, Urban Outfitters, Home Depot, Sam's Club, Anthropology. I could go on and on with all of the great stores that are part of the Go Cash Back app. So I highly recommend taking advantage of it. I would download the app to your phone and I would also make sure that it's on your desktop or wherever you do the majority of your shopping so that you can always earn cash back. I will go ahead again and link everything down in the description box for you. The link to download the app, everything will be down in the description box for you. So thank you again to Go Cash Back for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's jump in to the grocery haul. I did a grocery pickup from Fry's, which is a Kroger store. They actually sent me a little coupon in the mail for $15 off, $75 or more for a pickup order. So I thought that would save me time and $15 because I knew my order would be over $75. My entire grocery haul this week is from Fry's. So let's go ahead 
and jump in. First thing I picked up is some Laura's Lean Beef. This is 92% lean ground beef. We want to have a burger night on our new Blackstone Grill. And for me, it's much more point effective and calorie fat effective for me to make burgers myself. So I went ahead and picked up a pound of lean ground beef so that I can just form some burger patties and pop them on the grill. Troy requested potatoes O'Brien, the diced potatoes with onions and peppers. So I picked up a bag of those for him. And then I didn't realize that I bought the jumbo bag of hash browns. I actually need crispy hash browns for my breakfast meal prep. And this was cheaper than the small bag, so that's why I chose it, not realizing that it was five pounds of potatoes. So this is definitely going to take me a very long time to go through, but it was a much better deal than the small bag. I restocked some yogurts. I saw that they had the Meyer Lemon and Too Good, which is my very, very favorite Too Good yogurt. So I picked up two of those, and then I really like the Oikos Protein yogurt and this was on coupon this is the only flavor they had peach which is actually really good there is 20 grams of protein per yogurt cup I think they're one point which is amazing and I love being able to get 20 grams of protein so I picked up two of the Oikos Pro I needed a beef stew seasoning packet for a dinner recipe this next week I also needed a can of tomato soup I find with the healthy request that it's the lowest calories and points and I don't notice any difference between this and traditional tomato soup so I always pick up the healthy request. I was completely out of cumin. I finished it up in a dinner recipe so I restocked my spice. Two cans of organic black beans because I am making black bean burritos. You guys will actually see that recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day so make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss the video. You already know Good Culture is my favorite cottage cheese in the entire world and I actually need cottage cheese for a recipe and then of course I like to have it for a high protein snack. I love putting croutons on my cottage cheese to make it savory or I'll drain one of the no sugar added fruit cups and put that on to make it a little bit more sweet. I love pepper on my cottage cheese. I just love cottage cheese in general. Laughing Cow was on sale and you guys know I've been loving my turkey wraps with the Laughing Cow cheese. So this time I just went ahead and picked up the Creamy Light. I did grab some Eggo waffles for Troy. These are actually minis. I thought these were full-size waffles but he's getting mini waffles. I think they're all clumped together in a square though because it says 10 sets of four mini waffles. So hopefully it is one big square that he can throw into the toaster. And this is the cinnamon toast waffles. I also grabbed him a thin and crispy red baron pizza. This is currently on coupon at Kroger for $3, less than $3. So I went ahead and just picked up one pizza for him. Lots of cheese this week, starting with the Sargento Ultra Thin Mild Cheddar Cheese. I love this cheese on my burgers. And you guys know I prefer full fat cheese. So if I wanna save points or calories, instead of buying fat free or light cheese, I just buy the thin cheese. It still gives that really good creamy cheese flavor to burgers and sandwiches. And actually the mild cheddar is my favorite. I also grabbed some mozzarella cheese. This is for a dinner recipe. I did go ahead and pick whole milk mozzarella only because it just melts a little bit better. And then two bags of the reduced fat Mexican style shredded cheese. I need a lot of cheese for this week's recipes. And lastly for cheese, just a block of Colby Jack so that Troy can have this with meat, cheese, and crackers. Also for turkey this week, I grabbed the boar's head cracked pepper. I have heard really, really good things about the boar's head turkey and I didn't even realize that Fry sells it in the deli. So I grabbed an entire pound pound. It was not cheap, but like I said, I've heard really good things about it and I appreciate a good lunch meat on a sandwich or a wrap. For burger night, I picked up just some basic white hamburger buns. I like these ones because they're smaller and they're only about 100 to 120 calories a piece. So they're much lower in points and even calories than the bigger bun. They have their Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortillas for $1.77 a pack. You cannot beat that cannot beat it. I'm actually going to toss these in the freezer until I'm out of my La Tortilla factory ones that I picked up at Costco. But if these are your go-to tortillas, stock up because they freeze really well. Lots of produce this week, starting with these mini seedless cucumbers. Troy's been liking having salads and he loves cucumbers on his salad. And these were actually on coupon and the mini ones are just really, really good. Besides the fact that they're seedless, they're mini and they're cute and they're crispy and delicious. So highly recommend. I also decided to pick up a watermelon for the week for fruit. 
A big bag of onions because one thing we discovered that we really love on our Blackstone Grill is grilled onions. So I'm actually going to chop up probably this entire bag and we'll grill these up for our burgers and then you can really add grilled onions to anything. I actually like them in my turkey wrap as well for lunch. Raspberries, this has been, you guys know, my go-to for dessert. I have some berries with some whipped topping and it's one of my all-time favorite desserts. So I picked up the big pack of raspberries. Also for our grill for burgers, we're going to grill up mushrooms. So I grabbed two packages because we know that onions, mushrooms, they grill down to basically nothing when you saute them. So we're going to add some sauteed mushrooms to the burgers. I needed cilantro for a dinner recipe, a couple of Roma tomatoes and a red onion. Both of these are for dinners and a red bell pepper. She's an interesting looking red bell pepper, but that's for my meal prep for lunch. For my breakfast meal prep, I'm really excited, you guys. I'm making a muffin that requires blackberries. So I picked up two packages of blackberries and then a pack of grape tomatoes. Troy likes to throw tomatoes on his salad. And last but not least, a frozen bag of mixed vegetables. This is also for a dinner recipe. So that's everything that I picked up for groceries for the week from Fry's. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinner and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we'll go out to dinner, do takeout. Sometimes, honestly, we just have leftovers on Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making black bean burritos. You guys will actually see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm making shepherd's pie, easy shepherd's pie, which always makes me happy. Tuesday, we'll have leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making caprese chicken. This is one of my favorite dinners. Thursday, we're doing our burger night on our Blackstone Grill. And then Friday, we'll also have leftovers. That way we can finish up anything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm so excited to be back meal prepping. For breakfast this week, I am making a hash brown breakfast casserole. Cannot wait for this. Lunch, I'm going to do turkey pinwheels. This is also something that I've really been craving. You know the ones from Costco? I'm making a lower point, healthier version. And then for a snack, I'm making blackberry lemon muffins. I love lemon, I love blackberry. I'm super excited for this as well. So don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell on so you don't miss Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another weekly WW Grocery Haul. Lots of good food this week, amazing dinner recipes, and I have to say that I've missed meal prep since I didn't do a video last week or prep my meals. I'm very, very excited about these three recipes. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a grocery haul every single Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box again for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend as well as links and discounts counts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Spoiler alert, you're not going to want to miss it. See you next time. Bye.